In this video clip, you'll get to explore some thoracic techniques. It's very important for us as therapists to address the thoracic region in order to create balance. This was taken at an anterior structural balancing class. These techniques actually help relieve problems in the back, believe it or not. I want you to take the palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. This leg is going to follow this hand. It's going to be on this side. Move the client's hand out of the way. It's going to be on this side, not on the top, not on the bottom, on this side. Okay? Come on down a little bit more. Squat a little bit if you have to. Okay? Because this is the angle. Our chi is going to come into the palm of the hand. The other one is going to sit and relax just on the pec right now. So let me demo first, okay? I want to get my client to breathe. On the exhale, I'm going to breathe with them. Okay? Nice deep breath in, and I'm going to push, I'm going to compress medial, so I'm coming from behind here, okay? She's going to breathe into the cycle, I'm going to breathe with her, compress. I'm not going to let her push me out. And each time they let me go in, I follow it in. Now, fourth inhalation, I let her push me off, I shift my body weight. Mm -hmm. I come behind this hand now. I don't want pressure on my wrist. I want it to come from here. This hand, just going to rest, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to do it from my wrist and let her feel the difference. Mm -hmm. Feel the difference? Okay? That is incorrect. That will hurt you and could hurt your client. From here. This helps relieve not only the pecs, but the rhomboids too. Okay? This hand is just hanging out here. Three cycles of breath. Each cycle, we try to get in deeper. Fourth inhalation, we switch back. We compress here. Three breaths, three breaths, three times. Okay? This compression technique obviously is not done with osteoporosis in recent fractions. It is indicated to improve breathing, opening the intercostal spaces. It assists in relaxing the muscles in the back. It creates more space in the thoracic region, and it stimulates the organs in those regions. A few cautions, always compress on the exhale. Never push beyond a barrier. Work with the body, and please watch your body mechanics the full palm of your hand and make sure it's on the side of his ribs. You're not going to do anything yet. Just put it there, place it there. Make sure your fingers aren't going to squeeze on the top or, or put any pressure on the top of the ribs. Get your body mechanics good so that left leg is forward. Now your right hand is going to rest on his pecs, not touching the clavicle, just resting. That's a mother hand right now, okay? You want to encourage your client to take a nice deep breath in. On his exhale, you're going to take a breath with him. You're going to exhale, and you're going to put the force from the palm of your hand. Immediately push those ribs as far as it feels like they want to go, and hold that. Keep that compression in there. Your right hand's not doing anything but being a mother hand. He's going to take another breath in. You'll breathe with him. Hold that compression. Don't come out, and push in again medially a little further if the body allows you to go in. Hold that. Okay, use your body weight to hold that. Breathe with him again. And on the exhale, see if he'll let you go in further. Good. Now, as he inhales and the ribs expand, just come out gently with the inhalation. Switch your body weight onto your other foot. Breathe with him on the exhale. Now your pressure, your compression goes down into the pecs. Your left hand is a mother hand, soft and gentle. Right hand from the palm, not the wrist, but the weight on the palm. And compress down towards the table on the exhalation. Hold that compression. We're going to do three cycles of breathing with our client. And on each exhalation, we try to go in deeper. Make sure the weight is in the center of your palm and not at your wrist. On the fourth inhalation, you gently guide yourself out. Switch your weight onto the other leg again. Breathe with your client 
and on the exhale medially compress and hold. This gets repeated for three cycles. You're trying to free up those intercostal spaces, release fascial tissue, stimulate the organs behind the ribs. Make sure you're breathing with your client. On the fourth inhalation, you'll come out slowly. Alternate and switch your body weight and do the pecs. And we do this for three cycles alternating. This helps free up the rib cages, helps people breathe better helps relieve tension in the rhomboids and the serratus anterior. And relaxes all those intercostal spaces. Holding that compression down, sinking in deeper. Coming out slowly, shifting your body weight, and repeat again. After applying these compression techniques, it makes it much easier to go into the pectoralis and intercostal region with some gliding techniques by changing the angle of your thumbs. Here the student will be practicing some gliding across the pectoralis, starting at the sternal attachments and working in the intercostal spaces. While she's practicing, I'm going to have her change the angle of her pads of her thumb so that she's not just pressing down with a lot of force, but she's leaning up towards the bottom of a rib space or on top of one. This allows for you to get into all those tiny little fibers and clear out those spaces. As the tissue begins to open, it will receive you deeper without an intense painful feeling. The feedback from this client was it felt very good, very deep, but not painful. We always finish our deep tissue work with some light lymphatic strokes towards the axillar region. To learn more about clearing out the anterior region of the body from the cervical, thoracic, and abdominal region, please check my website, massageproce.com. Myself and Elon Schachter both offer these classes around the United States. Thank you for joining us today.